Africa in the language of French Wolof and Fulani. Also, check out and stay tuned, okay, for the folks that are coming in next. The jet is passing from the jumbo jet, and we are talking about the folks, okay, from, uh, well, the hour before the hour before. Dawood, Kringle, and of course, the William Karim. And happy birthday to William Karim, by the way. Oh, yes. And so, we hope to be back again, to do it all over again. So, come on back and join us. And so, until then, don't forget, okay, the show that's happening on November the 23rd, okay, next week, Saturday at SOBs. Go check out the man from Senegal, the man, you know, from Ivory Coast, the man, you know, from out of Ghana, and the other cats, okay, to thrill you. So, until we catch you again, ladies and gentlemen, this is Obebi Olali saying, and to Dawood himself from there, that, hey, we shall catch you again later on, and we'll say bye-bye for Nah. 9.30 a.m. The following program is presented by its producer, host, and sponsors. There is nothing wrong with your radio, your mobile device, or your computer. Do not attempt to adjust the controls. We are controlling the transmission. We control the music you hear. We control the monologue between the songs. For the next half hour, sit quietly, and Dawood, the renegade Sufi, will control all that you hear. And whatever you see that you can't cope with is entirely your own problem. You are about to participate in a great adventure. You are about to experience the awe and mystery which reaches from the inner mind to the overnight ship. I suppose you're all wondering why I've asked you here today. Well, you are tuned in to the Overnight Shift on AM 930 WPAT, and it is Saturday, the very 30th of November, 2019. And the reason I am here is, as DJ O'Baby put it, I am here to take you to another level. And you are here to be taken to another level. And I'm just the guy that can do that. Let's give a special shout out to DJ O Baby, the Groovy King, the Renegade in Studio B. And he's howling in the, in the background right now, down the hall, giving out his mating calls and his Howling at the Moon. And shout out to Brother William Kareem, the executive producer of this show, and a renegade. And stick around. After this show, I'll be here for an hour, and after, after that, uh, there will be 
the hour before, and uh, after that, a new day for al-Islam in America. And once that's finished, I suppose you can turn off your radio and go do something else, but stick around. Anyway, I have to take you to another level. So let's see what I have in store for you. It's been a minute, I'll bet, since you heard any jazz. Maybe you heard it recently, but I got some jazz for you that is done in a little different style. More specifically, this is Kamasi Washington and his quintet doing a jazz arrangement of Claude Debussy's Claire de Lune. Let's hear what that sounds like. That was nice, wasn't it? That was Kamasi Washington doing a jazz arrangement of Claude Debussy's Claire de Lune. Now, that was a jazz version of a classical piece. Let's see what happens when a group of classical musicians does an arrangement of a rock piece. Let's give this a listen. That was the Yamoto Quartet from Japan doing a string quartet interpretation of Led Zeppelin's Kashmir. I got something else for you here that you might be interested in. Now that we're on the, the trend, the track, the vibe of unusual interpretations of things. Well, maybe not unusual, but at least a little off the beaten path. In any case, prepare your ears for some other music. <laughs> Believe it or not, there was one man who was doing all of the vocal and instrumental parts on that recording. Scary Chops, folks. Scary Chops. That was Jacob Collier with his interpretation of a piece by Stevie Wonder called Don't You Worry About a Thing. In any case, I guess that uh, for the first half hour, we've been uh, talking about musical interpretations, and maybe I'll do something else along those lines, explore another perspective, another facet of that whole idea 
or maybe not. I'm going to be with you for one hour, and that means that uh, I'm going to be playing uh, whatever I want. And you know something? I kind of like the idea of having an hour to do this. When I first started doing the overnight shift here, I only had a half an hour. But uh, during the month of December of this uh, year of 2019, I will be uh, with you for one hour. In fact, the last couple of times I was here, I was with you for one hour. And it gives me the opportunity to play longer pieces. Because half an hour, you know, you can't fit too much in there, although I managed to uh, uh, fit as much as I could, you know, grease down the walls and slide it in. In any case, the question that I was asking, oh baby, the groovy king, and he asked me the same question, and we asked each other what that question applies to all of you who are listening to this program. And that question is, when was the last time you heard some blues? You That was Otis Rush with I Can't Quit You Baby. And before that, Big Mama Thornton doing Hound Dog. And it occurred to me that those two songs took the idea of interpretation from a completely different viewpoint because these, unlike the other pieces that I played in the first part of my show, were not people interpreting somebody else's music. These were people who were doing music that was later interpreted by others. Led Zeppelin did I Can't Quit You Baby, and uh, of course Elvis Presley did uh, Hound Dog. And I guess that's just what musicians do. I do it all the time. You'd be, in fact, you'd be surprised some of the stuff that I've pulled when I was playing my music. But this show is not about me. This is about you, and this is about music, and this is about exposing you to new music. Things that you might not have heard before. Let's continue. Let's see, what can I uh, play for you that uh, is uh, kind of interesting? Uh, Oh, I got something for you here that might be uh, uh, kind of interesting. I'm going to play a couple of pieces for you that are so far removed from each other that uh, they have no business being together. But I'm going to do it anyway. Enjoy. Listen. Is that music I hear? And there you have it, two songs that don't belong together, but this is freeform radio, genreless, if that's a word. That was Don Wassler with a piece called Cowpoke. And before that, we had a piece called If Nine Was Six by a project called Altered Beats. And you are tuned in to the overnight shift on AM 930 WPAT. And I've got a little bit more time with you, another 10 minutes or so, to bring you an eclectic mix of different types of music. Here's a piece that I dug up that I'd be very surprised if you heard before. Let's see if you like it.
Jimi Hendrix with the posthumously released Astro Man. And before that, a very rare recording of a piece called uh, Wichita Toe by Oregon. And Brother William Kareem just walked into the studio. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam. All right, uh, he's crawling around behind there. I don't know what the hell he's doing. In any case, uh, I got a few uh, more minutes and I got a little bit more music for you. But before I do, I want to remind you that you can support this radio broadcast by going to a new day for al Islam.com. And as I always mention, we are not making any money off of this program. We're. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, no, we're not. We're not, man. We're, we're, we're going broke over here, man. I'm not getting paid for this, and uh, that's okay. But, you know, these things do cost money to, to, to bring to you. Uh, pony up a few bucks for us. Uh, and, uh, uh, remember, it's a, a new day for alislam.com. And stick around for the hour before, and... After that, for a new day for Al Islam in America with uh, Imam Yusuf Ramadan. And until we meet again next week, inshallah, I pray that you are safe, that you are happy, that you are healthy, that you are with someone you love, and that your cookie jar is filled to the very brim with the cookies of your choice. And I'm going to leave you with a piece called Vocalese, composed by Sergei Rachmaninov. Assalamu alaikum. Rahmatullah wa barakatuhu. Okay, I'm going to get that.